An innovative delivery system has been designed to accommodate the Risperdal Consta microspheres. The dose pack contains all of the components needed to provide Risperdal Consta and is easy to assemble and administer. There are five components. One vial of Risperdal Consta, one smart site needle-free vial access device, one syringe of diluent, one needle pro safety device for deltoid injection, and one needle pro safety device for gluteal injection. To begin, remove the dose pack of Risperdal Consta from the refrigerator and allow it to come to room temperature prior to reconstitution. Then flip off the plastic colored cap from the vial. Peel back the blister pouch of the SmartSight needle-free vial access device. As you remove it, hold it by the white lure cap. Do not touch the spike tip of the access device at any time. Place the vial on a hard surface. Hold the base of the vial. Orient the smart sight access device vertically over the vial so that the spike tip is at the center of the vial's rubber stopper. With a straight downward push, press the spike tip of the smart sight access device through the center of the vial's rubber stopper until the device securely snaps onto the vial top. Next, swab the syringe connection point of the smart sight access device, identifiable by the blue circle, with your preferred antiseptic. Then attach the syringe to the smart sight access device. The pre-filled syringe has a white tip consisting of two parts, a white collar and a smooth white cap. To open the syringe, hold the syringe by the white collar and snap off the smooth white cap. Do not twist off the white cap. Remove the white cap together with the rubber tip cap inside. For all syringe assembly steps, Hold the syringe only by the white collar located at the tip of the syringe. Be careful to not over-tighten components when assembling. Over-tightening connections may cause syringe component parts to loosen from the syringe body. The syringe is held by the white collar located at the tip of the syringe. Do not hold the glass barrel. While holding the white collar of the syringe, Insert and press the syringe tip into the blue circle of the smart sight access device and then twist in a clockwise motion to secure the connection of the syringe to the smart sight access device. Avoid over twisting. Hold the skirt of the smart sight access device during attachment to prevent it from spinning. Also, be sure to keep the syringe and smart sight access device aligned. As always, be careful not to over-tighten components when assembling, as over-tightening connections may cause syringe components to loosen from the syringe body. Next, inject the entire contents of the syringe containing the diluent into the vial. Shake the vial vigorously while holding the plunger rod down with the thumb for a minimum of 10 seconds to ensure a homogeneous suspension. When properly mixed, the suspension appears uniform, thick, and milky in color. The microspheres will be visible in the liquid, but no dry microspheres should remain. Do not store the vial after reconstitution or the suspension may settle. If two minutes pass before injection, resuspend by shaking vigorously. Next, invert the vial completely and slowly withdraw the suspension from the vial into the syringe. Tear the vial label at the perforation and apply the detached label to the syringe for identification purposes. While holding the white collar of the syringe, unscrew the syringe from the SmartSight access device. Discard both the vial and SmartSight access device appropriately. Select the appropriate needle. For gluteal injection, select the 20 gauge thin wall 2 inch needle, which is the longer needle with the yellow colored hub in the blister pouch with yellow print. For deltoid injection, select the 21 gauge ultra thin wall 1 inch needle, which is the shorter needle with the green colored hub in the blister pouch with green print. After you select the correct needle, peel the blister pouch of the Needle Pro Safety device open halfway. Grasp the transparent needle sheath using the plastic peel pouch. To prevent contamination, be careful not to touch the orange Needle Pro Safety Device's lure connector. While holding the white collar on the syringe, the lure connection of the orange Needle Pro Safety Device is attached to the syringe with an easy clockwise twisting motion.
While continuing to hold the white collar of the syringe, grasp the transparent needle sheath and seat the needle firmly on the orange needle pro safety device with a push and a clockwise twist. If two minutes pass before injection, resuspend by shaking vigorously. While holding the white collar of the syringe, pull the transparent sheath straight away from the needle. Do not twist the sheath as the lure connections may be loosened. Tap the syringe gently to make any air bubbles rise to the top. Remove air in the syringe by depressing the plunger rod with the needle in an upright position. Upon suspension of the microspheres in the diluent, it is recommended to use Risperdal Consta immediately. Remember, if Risperdal Consta is not administered within two minutes of reconstitution, settling of the microspheres will occur and resuspension by shaking is necessary prior to administration. Keeping the vial upright, shake vigorously back and forth for as long as it takes to resuspend the microspheres. Once in suspension, the product may remain at room temperature and should not be exposed to temperatures above 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Risperdal Consta must be used within six hours of suspension. The injection site should be cleaned before and after the injection. Risperdal Consta is administered by deep intramuscular injection in the deltoid muscle or as a gluteal injection in the upper outer quadrant of the buttock. Be sure to inject the entire contents of the syringe within two minutes to avoid settling. Do not administer intravenously.